Hello everyone, I'm Tyler at Hyde Music in Appleton and today we're going to talk about wah pedals. So before we get into all of that, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you find out more about all of our fun stuff. Wah pedals are excellent because you don't really need to do much with them. You just got to rock them back and forth and maybe hit some dead strings, you know, just hold your hand over the strings and uh, you're producing some really cool percussive sounds. On the other hand, you can also take a wah pedal and use it to really like extenuate certain notes and things to give either your lead lines more vocal quality or you can actually make a more interesting rhythm pattern. I like to use wah pedals for all sorts of music. It's just an easy, easy effect to put it into pretty much any, any sort of style of music. You can even use it instead of rocking it back and forth like the old school uh, shaft theme song method. You can actually turn it on and then just set it at a certain point to get yourself a nice mid-range to cut through the mix and play a solo. This wah pedal here is the Dunlop Crybaby 535Q. It is a mini wah that has an adjustable volume. You can adjust the Q as well as a range switch in here. So you have four different wah ranges. There's also a built-in boost where when you push the button down, it will boost your signal, so again, you can go through and do that nice solo. Or if you need just a boost because the Y you set is a little quieter. So my favorite feature of this particular pedal is the fact that it is so cute and tiny. It fits on any pedal board. You don't have to take up a ton of room. You don't lose any real estate that you'd want for your other pedals. It takes up just a single pedal slot. My next favorite feature is definitely their variable Y switch. It's nice to be able to control exactly the range that you want because with some guitars you might want one, with other guitars you might want another. So I have my 535 Mini on uh, my pedal board right before I get into the dirt and compression. The reason why I have it there is because for the sounds that I want, that's just a really nice place to sit it. If I'm rocking a clean tone, it's nice that this is before my compressor. One other place that you can put it um, that I've done in the past for other things is you can put it after all of your distortions and overdrives. And that gives you a really more exaggerated wah. So you know you have a really good wah when you're playing it and you're rocking it back and forth. And as you're doing that, your mouth moves. So you're literally going wah with it. If you have that, then you know you have the right sound. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to go to the Hyde Music nearest you or hydemusic.com and check out all the wah pedals that we have available. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell, like, subscribe, and follow us for way more fun.